So far, we have created data pipelines using Logstash where Elasticsearch was at the output end. Okay. Now we want to create a data pipeline where Elasticsearch will be our source of data. Okay. So let's do that. Let's bring the terminal and go to example three. Okay. And open this configuration file, ES2 file. Okay. All right. So here we have an input and output configuration. Okay. There is no filter we want. So our input will specify Elasticsearch. Okay. And we also specify the host where it is running, localhost in our case. And we want to specify the index from where to read the data. And we will read the data from the index we just created in our last exercise, Logstash movies. So if you remember last time we created an index with only one day's worth of data. But if you have many indices created with the same name and different dates, then all of them you can read at once uh, by specifying a wild character like this asterisk. Okay. And we don't want to retrieve all the data in all those indices. We only want a list of the records which match some query. Okay. And in our case, we are using a very simple match query for year 2012. So all those movies which were launched in year 2012 should be returned. Next are a few parameters um, which are good to use when you have. Next, there are a few parameters we are using. These are good when we have lots of data and we want to retrieve that data in batches. So the size will say retrieve 10 records at a time and scroll is specifying that you can go on retrieving all the records until all of them are retrieved from all the pages. Next, we have some parameters like size, scroll, and doc info. Now, these three are optional parameters, but let's go over them. So, size specifies how many records should be returned in one go. So, we are saying 10 records. Okay. Scroll specifies that for five minutes, keep this session active, and any subsequent queries return me with the next batch of the data. Like on Google, when you search something, it gives you one page uh, with 10 or 15 search results and you can go to the next page by clicking next or the number two right same way here we are saying that keep giving me the results from the next pages as well and keep this session alive for five minutes 5 m five minutes and i also want you to return the document info in the result okay that's why the last parameter doc info is set to true now for output, we want to save the entire result from Elasticsearch into a file. Okay. And this will be a JSON file and we can specify the path and it has to be the absolute path as we had done in previous exercise for input CSV files. Okay. So once we have this, let's uh, run this file. Okay. And we can run it as logstash minus F and our file name. Enter. Looks like it has created the file for us. Let's do ls. As you can see, a new file has been created. Uh, movies. Let's open this file and you can see it has some data records okay it is printed using json but it's a bit hard to read because it is not pretty formatted but you can see we were able to read the data from elasticsearch and dump it in a file on our uh, machine okay so this is our third type of data pipeline i encourage you to do some more exercises and create different types of indexes. In our case, we had only one index. Although we used a wildcard character to read from multiple indexes. Uh, so as an exercise, I encourage you to 
create two or three different types of indexes and read from all of them and dump the data into a file. That would be a good exercise to do.